My name is Joe Cronin. I'm the newest member of the support team here at SBS. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a brief overview of our support portal. My colleague Sean gave a really good uh, intro for this current version, uh, last year's virtual pug. Uh, I believe it was rolled out July 2021. Before we get into uh, details of the portal itself, I'm going to just answer a few questions. Start with what is the support portal? Um, so the portal is a place where SBS users can uh, they can download SBS products, find documentation, search and view projects if you're involved, uh, access e-learning. Uh, if you have the privilege of being a licensed administrator for your organization, uh, you, that's where it's done as well. And you know, ultimately find support. Uh, my favorite, why use the support portal? Okay, uh, you're gonna find, we see this with a lot of new users, right? You're gonna find answers to practically every common question we get on a day-to-day -day basis from the new guys. Uh, you know, it's got, again, many resources. Uh, it's also going to have your most efficient response times, right? Uh, I'll go into this in a little de little more detail later on. Uh, also, you know, track issues, right? Not only do we get to track issues with uh, pro our product and, uh, you know, perform improvements, uh, you guys can track issues yourself with, uh, you know, whatever issues you might have in, in your organization. Uh, lastly, who can use the support portal, right? So... Anyone registered with SBS, you know, those companies, anyone with that company can, you know, create an account and use the portal. Let's dive into the portal itself. Okay, uh, here it is, the landing page, right? It can be found at portal.spatialbiz.com. Uh, so the landing page is pretty much just reserved to provide messages to uh, users. Uh, we'll provide updates that, you know, if we need to there. Uh, one there now you're seeing. So what we're going to do, we're going to start in the upper right. Uh, you have your account management, and then we're going to work through the pages left to right at the top, top right corner. You have your uh, account management. You know, in here, you're going to be able to, you know, add a profile picture if you want, uh, edit your account properties. Uh, you can also opt into notifications, right? If you're a member of the Pug Forum, uh, you can uh, sign up for notifications there. Uh, if you subscribe to posts and whatnot, uh, access personal data, change your email, uh, things like that. Okay, the downloads page, pretty self-explanatory, right? Uh, it's going to show you all the products we offer for a public download. Uh, we're going to dive into AUD, so we're just going to select AUD. Okay, so you're going to see all versions available for public download, right? And it's, this is a pretty nice page. Uh, it's, it's filterable, so if you want to you know, only see versions associated with MAP 2022 like we're going to do, uh, you know, you can filter that, send that link out to anyone in your company, or if you want to save it for later, you know, you can do that here. So, like I said, here we are filtered, MAP 2022. Um, we're going to download the latest, 841. So that takes us to the product download page itself. Uh, again, pretty self-explanatory, right? But there are a couple things that's often overlooked here. Uh, so we got a little bit of detail about, you know, release date, uh, download button, but... We also have associated products and release notes. So associated products, you're going to see a couple things in here, including uh, Smart Tools Template Builder and uh, Smart Tools Analytics. And like Dave said, you know, there's a new release being built right now. I think it's in testing, right, Dave? Uh, so you know, look for that here in the future. OK, the release notes, this is, this is often overlooked again by a lot of new users, right? There's a lot of important information here. Uh, our developers do a really good job of, you know, putting a lot of information in here. And you're going to find a lot of basic stuff like system requirements, uh, installation and setup. Uh, a lot of common questions, again, are answered in these release notes. Uh, moving on, the next page is our knowledge base section, right? Uh, you're going to see a couple sub-menus here. They're product-specific. Uh, you also have a search feature. Uh, we had an issue the other day. Uh, Customers are inquiring about some O snaps. Uh, you know, I was I pointed him to the, the knowledge base section. He was quite impressed. Uh, but we're gonna again follow the flavor of AUD. Uh, dive in a little bit more. We we have some more sub menus here, right? We have how to how to articles and videos releases. So this is gonna be all the release notes, uh, like I was just explaining on the download page. Uh, you're gonna have white papers, uh, webinars, general information. Uh, let's go to how-to articles and videos. 
right? Uh, so we're going to see a nice list on the left, uh, all the articles and videos available up for us to review or uh, send out if we want, you know, to our colleagues. Uh, I think we're watching a video right now of basics of using AUD expand, uh, AUD expand edit and AUD collapse. Uh, what's nice is, you know, there's a, there's a viewer here. Uh, it can be viewed right on the portal. No need to, you know, view it externally. Uh, same thing. We're in the white papers now, right? We got a, a really nice viewer here. Uh, we're, uh, configuration setup guide here okay so viewer again it's nice but you can also download this PDF you have the option to do that right here in the portal uh, you also have the option to print it if you if you want to print it uh, you know for some reason you want to download it send it to a colleague or save it for later yeah sorry Joe. so on those videos yeah if you have done something at your utility that you want to boast about if you do a short video to us send it to me I'll send it to Ethan. Ethan will get it in a standard format for us, and then we would sh we would post that on here for other to share with other utilities. What we want is for you guys. To, we don't know your business practices. We know technology, so we want to say, hey, this is how we're using your technologies, and share that with the other utilities, and they will start sharing it back with you. So, like the schematic stuff, the Salt River project was showing the other day. I've had a couple people ask me how we do that. My answer is call Salt River. They did it. I <laughs> mean, so you know that's that's really what we want these this forum to be is the place for you to start sharing information and getting information off it, and not have to pay my prices for me to tell you how to do a simple task like that. I want you to pay my prices for other things. Don't get me wrong on that. Just for the record. <laughs> Uh, something else that I want to add to that too, like if you send, uh, you know, Pat or whoever a video, you know, kind of showing how to do something, um, if you could include like a, a text description, you know, and as detailed as you can be, because uh, we can, uh, you know, add a description as well. Um, basically, like if you think about it, uh, any keywords uh, that the user or like somebody else would be using to search to find the video of what you're kind of demonstrating, uh, you want to make sure you include in that text description as well. Because uh, that's kind of one of the key pieces too is, you know, it's one thing to put it out there. It's another thing, you know, to make it easily able to be like found by other users, users as well. Or if you just do like a Teams and voiceover on it, then we'll take that voiceover out and they just put the text in there. So we want to make it easy for you to share the information. We'll take the work to make it uh, shareable. Okay. Uh, so you've heard Pat and a couple others mention the, the pug forum. So right here, we're on the pug forum page. So it's, it's kind of unique. You do need permissions to join this page. Super easy though. Uh, you could either submit a ticket on the support portal or reach out to myself via email, uh, Ryan or his team. Uh, we'll, guys, we'll get you guys granted access and uh, you'll be available to view and post. Um, and, and today, you've heard a couple times, you know, we really want to see your feedback. We, we, we really want to see you guys provide feedback on the Pug Forum. Uh, you know, it helps everyone, everyone involved. Um, so a little bit about the page itself. Uh, it's actually gonna undergo a little bit of transformation, so it's probably gonna look a little different next year at the Pug. Uh, we're gonna add a couple more buttons and submenus, um, a little more product specific. Um, but the page itself, so we've got feature requests, uh, general discussion, integration, Pug conference, tips and tricks, webinar series. Uh, right on the homepage here, you're gonna see recent activity, new posts and my posts, and then uh, you know the button to create a post. Um, but again, I just want to drive home, you know, we really like to see feedback. So greatly appreciate it if you guys would provide some. Okay, e-learning access. That's going to be our next page. Um, so this is going to little look two ways, right? So, hey, hey, Joe. Yeah. Can you jump back to the last sure, page? Sure, sure. <laughs> uh, in the pug, yeah. There we go. I uh, just wanted to let everyone know um, if you click on like if you click on like feature requests, uh, you could follow a, a, like a topic. Uh, there's a follow button in the top right. Uh, so like if you're following feature requests, uh, anytime there's a new post, 
uh, you would get an email notification uh, with the links to that new post and the uh, text of what that new post is. Uh, you could also follow individual uh, posts, you know, your, your, uh, your own posts included. Uh, I think when you create one, you're automatically followed and you're notified if somebody responds. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know uh, too that you can uh, follow topics and individual posts as well. Thanks, Sean. Okay, back to e-learning access or e-learning, right? So there's going to be two different versions of the versions of this. Uh, for those of you that you know, again, have that privilege of being a licensed administrator, this is where you're going to assign your e-learning access if you've purchased some for your company. Um, and the other would be, you know, user uh, access. What it is is going to take you to a link to our e-learning portal, right? So this is this is also going under a little bit of a transformation right now. Uh, Pat, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, we've got talks going with Imagine It. Uh, they're going to be helping out with updating training material, providing some new uh, revamp there, right, Pat? It, this is a future roadmap. Yeah, uh, yeah. But it's pretty dang close. So what, we're working with Imagine It. So they have a professional uh training group that's all they do that's part of their co corporation so we're get have them do the training material they're going to actually update it add videos and then what they will do is wrap the autocad training around our training so for utilities that haven't done you know coming off a gis based system which i hope a lot of you will um you'll say yeah, I don't need to know everything about AutoCAD. I need to know enough to do AUD, enough to do substation for um, P4A or Inventor or AutoCAD Electrical. So that you would still come to us for the if you want to get the training, or you can go direct to them. Um, so you know those. That's where we're just in the final stages of the contract. But it will be a much more professional training, and then on the project we will be taking that training back and tailoring it for each customer um, so that and then they will host that training behind a secure site. So it's really gonna get there and then we will, I haven't told Dave this yet, but then we will have a live link off of AUD so you can go into little sections of it just like we used to have before. That's where we're trying to go. Hopefully that'll be the next few months. Thanks, Pat. Okay, the projects page. Uh, so anyone involved in active projects, you know, you're going to find those here, past implementations, you know, as well. Pretty straightforward. Uh, licenses. So this is going to be, again, exclusive to licensed administrators if you have that privilege. Uh, you know, you're going to see named user, which is SBS hosted, what we're on now. And then you're going to see, all, you know, the, you guys that are on flex licensing and, you know, old style licenses, you know, that's there as well. Uh, last, sorry, Joe. Yeah. Um, so one of the new capabilities that we added, I think Sean added this last year for some of the bigger utilities where you have different groups and maybe external contractors that say you're using Acme um, engineering company, you'll be able to sub manage those licenses. So it, you get one licensed person, you know, some of your utilities have three, 400 licenses. You can say, I'm giving 30 to this license manager who does subdivision, this 30 licenses to Acme Engineering, and then they will be able to manage those licenses that are assigned to them. So you can tear down the licenses so you don't have one person trying to figure out, you know, especially if you're using an external contractor, you know, they may put a new person on it every other project. Let them worry about that. You just say, hey, we got this amount of licenses for you. Okay, lastly, that brings us to the support page. All right, we have a nice convenient link right back to the knowledge base. You're gonna find a lot of support there. That makes sense to have it here. You're gonna be able to view my cases, right? So if you're having issues or have an issue, if you do have an issue, no need to track that. You know, you can come right back here. There it is. No need to remember anything. Uh, same thing with company cases, right? Uh, no need to track it, save it locally. It's all right here. Uh, company cases, really convenient. Uh, if you are having an issue, you, you know, you can jump on there. Those of you that have lots of users, uh, you know, something happens, you can jump on there, see if anyone else is having an issue as well. Uh, you know, pending, you know, we get people actively using it, which a lot do. Um, and lastly, I'm going to touch on this a little bit, is submit a case, right? This is how you're going to submit a support case. Okay, here's the case itself, right? You're going to try to, 
we want you to provide as much information here as we pos as you possibly can. Um, unfortunately, we still have a lot of people that like to email support. Uh, we do support that, but you know, emails, you know, they tend to sit in an inbox. You know, people today's day and age, you know, we, people do get busy, take PTO. Um, you might reach the wrong audience there, so you know, it might get passed on, sit in another inbox, but. The nice thing about the support case is if it's done properly, you're gonna get your case in front of the proper audience, right? You're gonna see some product experts and there's a good chance you're gonna get it resolved 12 hours, 24 hours, uh, probably sooner though. The case itself, uh, we see this a lot, okay? And if you guys could relay this back to your users, that would be great, okay? product that's where you're going to reach your audience right we get a lot of cases where guys just come in or people users come in select other throw the issue in the subject and that's it put it as an urgent priority and submit it right you you can see there's going to be a lot of back and forth there that's going to delay your solution right so give us as much information as you possibly can on your support case so that's all i got uh pug form Register on the site, try to drive those home. Uh, you guys got any questions? So can we pass Close. information to the URL so that it pop pre-populates some of these uh, fields? So that what I'm trying to get to is, let's say I built a product and I provide an um, icon in the interface where it says submit a ticket. I know what is the product that I am in, so I want to pre-populate like the product or what OS they are working on, just so that it becomes part of your ticket, so it sends it in, so the user doesn't have to specify all of those things. So that'd be an internal structure on that. And yeah, we probably can, we just, thanks for volunteering to do it. <laughs> Welcome to SBS, Tillich. <laughs> uh, anybody else got some question? question over here, Pat? So on your trainers, are they utility folks or are they software folks? You say trainers? Yes. Both, right, Pat? Okay. Historically, we've had software, technical software vendors that the training was software people. So they knew what button to click. They just didn't know why they clicked it. Yeah. So it's been a challenge. So right now, our training is Sarah, who's doing the implementation and knows the utilities. So, and then Sean. So they're doing, they're doing the training. And then we have our professional our Core trainer is Karen Snow, who's been working with Autodesk AUD since it was back at Gentry Product, I believe she was back there, wasn't she? So she went Gentry, Autodesk, SBS, so she knows the domain. When we go to Imagine It, their people are utility people. That's who they hire, and they're so the professional trainers from the utility business. That's why we went to a professional training group. Anybody else? That's a good question. I like that. Uh, and this is just one small comment about uh, submitting a support ticket to kind of uh, echo what he's meaning about including information. Uh, what, if if it's a if it's a product issue, uh, one of the most important things to include are really the steps to be able to recreate the issue. Because a lot of the time we have issues that come in and they're very specific to uh, your unique configuration and possibly the specific design you're working in. So the more information you can give us about, you know, like what was going on, uh, the context of when the, uh, the problems occurred, that's, that's really crucial information. And, and as Joe was talking about it, it'll eliminate a lot of back and forth and, and delay with that, because that's eventually what we have to be able to do is, is really recreate the problem. And if we can recreate the problem, we can usually get it fixed very quickly. Uh, and recreating it's a, really one of the bigger parts of, of uh, working through uh, the issues that get reported. Thanks, Dave. So I want to follow up on that. So the way our license works, subscription or AMC, for those that were on the perpetual licenses, that will be a change. Um, we do have to go back to only subscription license as of the first of the year. I just got found out this last night. Um, we will honor any, any commitment that we've made. If you're on perpetual license today, we will keep you on a perpetual license today. We made the promise we're not going to jack up the prices. You'll stay on your same price and structure just like we always do. That's kind of our philosophy. Um, but your support covers the software and the configuration. 
So if you have a problem, you're not going to get, well, that's not software, that's configuration. It's you have a problem, we deliver that to you, so we will fix the problem. That's why Dave's saying we need that design. We need to know exactly what was in it. That's the advantage of it because you get the DWG, we get the configuration and the software. As we said earlier, we're going out to delivery partners, um, going out more this year because of the size, that, that volume that we're getting. Make sure when you go to a delivery partner that you get in your contract the configuration SBS has it. Because if you, I don't want to just say, I know your software, but I don't know what your configuration is. I can't support you. So make sure that they, they have it. All the delivery partners know to check in. They're, they're using our <laughs> configuration management site. So it shouldn't be a problem. Make sure that's done so we can continue to support you the way we always have. We don't want to, we're changing how we do things. We don't want to change what we're doing. <laughs>